shocking secrets. Harry didn't have a terrible aversion to the press before. Meghan Markle injected hatred into his brain. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. According to royal photographer Arthur Edwards, who remembers how the prince used to engage with journalists on royal tours, Harry's criticism of the media has not always been there. At the conclusion of our excursion to Colorado Springs, Harry stated, all meet in the bar tonight, 6 p.m., the man told Fox News. Then we all gathered at the bar. He arrived, and for the next hour and a half, we spoke and laughed a lot while sharing stories and points of view. After everything was said and done, Harry paid the bill. We did it everywhere we went with him, including there, in Australia, and Jamaica. With Meghan, everything abruptly ended. And that makes me sad because Harry and the media got along so well. He is a talented young man who was really friendly. He could express himself and you weren't offended. He wouldn't take offense if you did the same. Now when I look at him, he simply appears so depressed. One commenter asserted, Of course it ended with Megan. One phrase is the telling sign. Megan does not exchange or accept ideas. Megan issues the edit to be obeyed and carried out without question. Of all the celebrities in the world with fan bases and clubs, hers is the only one with a rabid cult-like squad terrorizing anyone who dislikes her, the writer of any article not favoring her, any comment not worshipping her. They are no different from the masses baying for the blood of a writer because he wrote fiction or that of a cartoonist drawing a cartoon. The West criticizes and labels extremists and beats the freedom of speech and opinion. The same media sides with the fans of the cult of Megan. In first instance, it is about one of the world's major religions for the past 1,500 years and its prophet, far more superior to all the Megans of this world. In Megan's case, all she has ever achieved is marrying a prince. She is yet to do one tangible, positive deed for humanity. Quite the opposite. She has caused chaos, discord, and division. She has jeopardized national security and relations between countries, all because she is British royal and claims to have been mistreated by the British royal family and the UK, with no presented and or proven evidence. Of course it ended. Meghan does not do the family exchange or accept ideas. Harry, however, asserted that he believes it is his obligation to expose corruption and bribery in the media, which is aware of the whole truth. Evil Meghan claims the media is out to get her and that scandalous details about her were put in the first three episodes of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary. Harry also talked of the abuse his mother, Princess Diana, endured and his concern that Meghan might be expelled from the media. The Duke remarked at the beginning of the first episode, Therefore, I feel it is my obligation as a member of this family to expose the exploitation and bribes that take place in our media. Meghan remarked, Unfortunately, they are destroying us because we are standing up for something. Harry said as the piano music continued, This goes beyond simply our narrative. We have never been a little part of this. Nobody is fully aware of the truth. The whole truth is known to us. The institution is well aware of this reality. And since they were privy to it, the media is aware of the whole truth. And I believe that anyone else in my shoes would have acted exactly the same way. When Harry and Meghan got engaged in 2017, the documentary seemed to tie the EU referendum to a culture war in the UK. Regarding her press coverage, Meghan stated, I still firmly believed at that time what I had been taught, which was that it will pass, it will get better, and that's simply what they're going to do at the very beginning. 
This assurance that after you are married, don't worry, it'll get better. Once they get acclimated to you, of course it'll get better is made. However, the fact is that no matter how hard I worked, how talented I was, or what I did, they would still find a way to ruin me. Harry has not one sliver of regret or remorse over all the provable lies he and his harpy have publicly told. Any of the truths the pair publicly spout now should be treated with the utmost skepticism it deserves, as 99% would be a lie. King Charles III should cut them loose completely and take away all things royal, as he detests being a royal, even his prince moniker, just like the royal family in Denmark has done. Harry should accept the fact that Harry was never going to be king. He's just the spare, which makes Meghan pretty irrelevant and placed way, way down on the hierarchy. So why is Meghan so upset that she didn't get to live in the biggest palace or be the most important royal making all the decisions? Greed and jealousy, that's why. She will never take Diana's place because she is so fake. Most intelligent people can see straight through her. Meghan had no intention of ever staying in the UK for long, just long enough to produce her golden goose through a surrogate. Harry's behavior is abhorrent. They deserve each other. In Markle's narcissistic mind, she is meant to be queen, but in order for that to happen, events have to be put in motion by her hired plotter, Boo Z, and his paid Sussex squad, Sugars, made up of anti-monarchists. Black Lives Matter activists, deluded teenagers, and immigrants keep the pot stirring on all social media, hoping to bring about the downfall of the monarchy. Hapless Harry probably has no idea what is being plotted behind his back. Thanks to the Netflix documentary, more people are aware of the Sussex narcissism and lies and are speaking about the Sussex squad sugars are having to move back and forth from all the different social media sites to defend Markle and are being spread thin, only a few left on this thread, and the same old argument, racism, Harry's mother, it all sounds tired and slightly hysterical. And despite all the rhetoric, the poisonous pair have yet to produce any evidence of racism or wrongdoing on the part of the media, or indeed anyone else, All accusations they make are hearsay. Surely with the apparent barrage of abuse that they face, there must be one witness. If you ask why Harry and his family are in this situation, here is the answer. The Markles and their Sussex squad sugars are having a collective meltdown because the results of the documentary did not go the way they anticipated. Instead of sympathy for them and scorn for the royals, the world, including left-leaning media, now see Markle for the narcissist she is, and Harry for her dupe. It would be entertaining to watch if it weren't so serious. Harry has allowed his hate and resentment to make him susceptible to outside forces with agendas of harming his royal family and country. What do you think about Meghan Markle's act of poisoning Harry? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.